Hey, my name is Michael Danes. I'm a freshman at Montana State University. I'm studying mechanical engineering. Uh, my two words are empty and full, and I'll explain that a little bit more later. But um, my story kind of starts uh, right around high school, freshman, sophomore, junior year. Uh, I went to Bozeman Senior High School, uh, and I had a grand old time. Um, my freshman year, you know, I uh, played golf, I uh, was involved academically, got good grades, whatever. Um, sophomore year was kind of my drop-off year. Uh, just got mixed up in the wrong crowd. Um, couldn't seem to find a way out of it. Uh, I was really focused on uh, popularity and self-image and um, just thought that that was the way to go and thought that, um, you know, that was my calling and that, you know, uh, that was, you know, what I needed to do in life. Uh, my junior year, it all kind of changed for me. I uh, got in a little trouble, um, and I actually transferred schools to a small private school um, called Manhattan Christian. Uh, I didn't really fight it. I, I knew that I needed some change in my life, and I knew that uh, my parents knew what was best for me, and God knew what was best for me, and uh, we prayed about it a lot, and uh, we decided that, that was the best uh, route for me to take. Uh, when I got there, uh, I immediately fell in love with it. Um, you know, God just called some awesome people into my life. Um, it was a really great community of people. Um, they were extremely accepting, um, and I just had a really good time there. Um, a little bit more about my experience at that uh, small school. I played a little bit of golf. I played football for the first time, and I played basketball as well. Um, and I think that's what really opened my eyes up to the faith and to Christianity and what it was really about and not just what I thought it was about, what my parents thought for me what it was about. Um, I just felt like my faith was really forced by my parents. Um, you know, Sunday school and youth group and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You should hang out with these people, you should hang out with these people. I felt like they were trying to control my life and trying to you know, tell me what to do and who to be and who to believe. And um, I think that really turned me off to the faith. Uh, but once I got out to uh, that new school into a new group of people, I kind of figured out that um, you know the faith is your own, and if you want it to be uh, a strong faith, you have to make it your own. Uh, what I love about Jesus is that um, he loves you, even though he knows your past, uh, even though he knows everything I did in high school and all the stupid decisions I made. Uh, he loves me more than anything. Um, I also love about Christianity that this isn't a video or this isn't a series of me uh, coming to you telling you how great I am and how perfect I am and how my life is just 100% for Jesus and I'm just awesome. Um, I think it's really important to note that we are still broken, but we know that we are broken and we know that we have a Savior uh, who saves us from that brokenness. Uh, I mean, a verse that really stuck out to me and that um, will stick to me uh, through the end of my life is 1 John 11 through 12. It says, this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Um, I think what I, really, what I really struggled with was that I didn't know if I was going to go to heaven, and I didn't know if uh, you know, everything I had was, was uh, eternal. Um, I think this verse just really opens my eyes, and... Um, if you have the Son in your life and you believe in Him that He died on the cross for your sins, you have eternal life. Um, and that's just extremely, extremely uh, satisfying to me. It just gives me a sense of peace. Um, I think in a relationship uh, with anybody you have, it's extremely important to have trust. Um, and if you do not trust that person, the, the relationship uh, will be faulty and the re relationship won't be true. Um, the same goes with the relationship with Jesus Christ. If you don't believe that he will give you eternal life through his son, uh, the relationship just isn't going to be there, um, and the relationship just isn't going to be true. Um, so I think that that was a really big eye-opener for me. Um, today, uh, you know, I still uh, struggle with the same things I struggled with in high school, and I struggle with them for the rest of my life. Um, knowing that I have Jesus, and knowing that uh, I have the holy bible to look upon i have an awesome group of friends now i have a great community surrounding us uh, my family is always there for me um, i think that going into college uh, making my faith my own is going to be uh, a lot easier um, like i said before empty 
in high school didn't really know if I if the relationship I had with Jesus was true and if it was uh, what I wanted and now that I know that uh, he is the way the truth and the light um, just gives me this huge sense of peace and serenity and uh, makes me full